each letter and afterwards covered them all with flowers. But that was as far as she could go. She waited a long time. She was thoroughly disgusted with herself. And finally she got her and put rubber bands around A, B and C and carried them up to country. Miss Kling, those things you said about agreements, that both partners have rights and obligations, look at these. Anna put her letters on the table. The children ask question after question. Is it my obligation to answer? What rights do I have? Not to answer, country said. I can't do that. But you have no agreement with them. How do you mean agreement? I mean a promise. You've written to each child only once, isn't that right? And you've made no promises. Well, as it happens, you mean you've written to some of them more than once? What am I supposed to do? They write and write and they think I'm their friend. Then it is a promise. Country walked over and closed the window. You're trembling, she said. Miss Aileen, sit down. I'll give you a blanket. I don't want one. And I haven't made any promises. I don't know what you mean. Anna gathered up her letters. And told me this wasn't what is this? What I, I want to do. About, she said. Leave them. Let me read them. I'll try to understand. Later in the evening, they sat opposite each other in the parlour, and Katri explained. I don't think this has to be so hard. The children have things to ask and things to tell, and what they all want is roughly the same. You could have a form letter, a prepared text in photostat. When you need to vary it, you can add a postscript, and of course a personal signature. Photostat, form letter, it's not my style! And what happens if siblings write to me or children in the same class in school and they compare their letters? I can't possibly keep track of all the names and addresses. The card catalogue will take care of that, and eventually you ought to have a secretary. A secretary? No, I repeated. A secretary? Is that what you think, Miss Kling? And what, for example, would she write to all the sad cases? For that matter, you've mixed up my piles. There was A, B and C. Now I don't know which is which. How would a secretary answer, Dear Miss Aimeline, what should I do with my parents? Or, Why does everybody get invited except me? And so forth, on and on. It's me they're asking, not anyone else. And for that matter, they're all unhappy in their own way, and it seems to me they have a right to be. You wouldn't be so sure, Dr. said dryly. Miss Aimeline, I've read all these very carefully. And I can only conclude that A, B, and C could all be included under a single heading. They all want something. For instance, comfort, and they want it as quickly as possible because it's very urgent. These letters could in fact be seen as small attempts at extortion. No, don't interrupt. Their letters are awkward and misspelled, and so they're touching and give you a bad conscience. But they'll learn. They'll get more